absolutely brilliant night it is out here. Now, where is here? This is a swamp, believe it or not. And I'm looking out here. First time I've been here at this time of night, but there's a swamp. There'll be mosquitoes everywhere out here, but I'm not too worried at the moment because it's pretty cool. Oh, gorgeous. Now, my mission tonight is to capture a rising Milky Way galactic core. Yeah, that's right, I haven't got one yet in 2024, so here I am. But not here in the swamp. That's not for probably an hour, maybe two hours away. I'm going to shoot a panorama of this area facing more towards the south, and I just wanna get a bit of an ambient uh, exposure, if you like, of this of this area. I'm hoping to get a bit of reflection, although the water's down a lot lower than it was maybe um, a few weeks ago because it hasn't rained for a little while. Anyway, the other thing that some of you will be very excited about is the fact that I'm not going to be doing any tracking tonight. I'm going to be shooting straight from a tripod. And so I'll be doing some panoramas and I'll also be doing some stacking for noise reduction. So I'll go back to some of my previous methods I used to use a few years ago. That's fine. So anyway, I'm just going to have a look down here and see what I can find to shoot. And um, yeah, so let's get moving. Ah, there we go. First mozzie for the night. Well, what do you expect when you come to a swamp? Okay, so I'm going to be using my Nikon Z6 camera. Now this is my hydrogen alpha modified camera and a 20 millimeter f1.8 lens. And I think this will be a pretty good combination for my pano. Fairly wide still, but I'm, oh, I'm going to dip the mozzie spray out. Um, yeah, fairly wide angle lens, um, but I don't know. I, I probably won't need to shoot too many frames to get this swamp in at 20 millimeters. So that's my, oh, gee, it's just so, so beautiful out here. I can see that the, the uh, tail end of the Milky Way stretching right across the sky. Orion is setting over there in the west. Uh, I can see Scorpio rising over there in the east, and I always get a real buzz at this time of year when you see the galactic core starting to come up. What was that? Ah, it's a mosquito, but I heard something else. This is a swamp. There could be anything out here. Hey, middle of summer. What's there not to like in the bush in a swamp in Australia? Yeah, there could be a few snakes around here. So I've worn my really good boots here tonight. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing down here, um, I'm down at ground level on the swamp. So there's water just out here. Uh, beautiful trees through here, big gum trees. They've been here for centuries and the Milky Way rising up over there, Southern Cross way up there, Magellanic clouds down there. So I'm gonna do a sweeping turn. So as I said, I'm shooting at 20 millimeter focal length. Um, so I've set my camera up with the ATOL mount so I can just quickly go from portrait to landscape orientation. That helps a lot. And so um, that helps to get the level. And it's really important, I'm just on a fixed tripod, to swing my camera right around and make sure that I'm still level when I go from one side to the other. So I've just done that. So now I'm going to start shooting. I don't think I'm gonna put any extra light. So because of that, I'm pushing my exposure a fair bit. I might even shoot this wide open at f1.8. We'll just see there's a little bit more VIG netting at f1.8. So that does make the stitching a little bit more tricky, but I still think I can get away with it. Anyway. Let's give it a go and see what we can do. Okay, well. That's done and dusted. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I did about 28 shots from memory, three rows. And you're probably thinking, how did you add up to 28 shots if you did three rows? Well, I think I did two rows of 10 and one row of eight. Anyway, 
Let's see how that turns out later. But in the meantime, you can see the Milky Way over there rising up into that eastern sky. It is an absolutely gorgeous place here. Now, this is a Bortle 2, I reckon, especially that way. A little bit of glow down there uh, towards the east. But uh, over in the west, it's probably a Bortle 1 out there. It's very dark and there's not much wind, which is absolutely fantastic. So anyway, I've got to get going. I've got a few other places to be. So I've got to get this stuff out of here. So I've made my way back to this spot here, which is actually a familiar location. I've been here, well, probably a couple of times in the past, but not for a long time. And I'm here, this old ruin in the background. Um, by the way, I do know the owner of this place and uh, they have given me permission to be here, but it's a perspective facing more towards the east. And I'm sort of gonna glance the edge of the building and sort of sweep around. I'll probably do another pano here, but I'll just see. Uh, time's getting on, so I've got to get going. So I'll get in there and set up and see how it all pans out. So here is my plan, sweeping view of the rising Milky Way galactic core, this old building, and a few lights around the place. So my plan here is to use low level lighting, but I might, depending on how it comes out, because this grass is, oh, it's shocking to be honest, it's really long, um, and it's, it's very light colored. So as soon as I put some light on it, it'll just glow and carry on. So I might do a little bit of selective light painting as well, just to try and get over the top of that. Because one of the problems you do have sometimes with low level lighting in a situation like this, is that it's very hard to limit the amount of spillage from the light. Now, of course, I can do some editing later on to sort of try and uh, feather that in, which I will be doing. But anyway, look over there. Milky Way Galactic Core in the background. It is magnificent. This is such a good night. I was really concerned about the wind here, but it's a tiny little bit of breeze. It's probably about, I guess about 12 or 13 degrees at the moment Celsius. So it's not that hot or not that cold, whichever way you look at it. Um, middle of summer here in Australia. This is perfect as far as I'm concerned. All right, so I'm gonna set these lights up and get to and shoot this scene. All right, well, that's all very good. So my next uh, task here is to shoot the Milky Way Galactic Core and the building from the other side. So this is not a panorama. This is gonna be a fixed frame, but I'm gonna do stacking. So I'll shoot 10 images exactly the same and just stack them for noise reduction later on. But the way I'm lighting this is still with low level lighting. So this is a little bit different to what I often do, but I just wanna try a few different things tonight. So I've got my Ulanzi VL49 lights around the place. I've got one over there on a light stand, which is up very high, probably about eight, nine feet. One over there, I don't know if you can see it in the background. Uh, it's attached via its magnet to this fencing and there's fencing all around this place, steel metal sheep pens. Now they're good for sticking lights on too, but they're really bad for reflections of all the light. Um, so I've just got to work with that. So I've got to keep the lights nice and dim and I'll fix up some of the spillage, I guess, in uh, post-production later on. But I've got to get snappy time because the moon's coming up later and, and I want to avoid the moonlight. So let's get going. Okay, well this happens quite a bit, I know, but I'm rushing again. There's a moon coming up over there, very thin crescent moon, but I want to get it. There's a dam in here, Milky Way Galactic Core overhead, it's all happening. So I'm getting over this fence and off we go.
Well, that was the literal definition of a mad rush. <laughs> Have a look at that behind me. There's the moon rising, very thin crescent moon, and Venus as well, right down low. Now, I'm not sure how much of that I've captured, but I've been shooting away here with my camera. There's a little dam here, which I don't know if you can see it, just in the background, water. Beautiful little country scene here. Now, it's getting pretty cool now, a bit chilly. I can see some mist rising up on that dam, but I'll tell you what, this is a great spot for shooting a nice open clear horizon down there, Milky Way Galactic core overhead. So what I did here, I actually shot one big sweeping wide panorama, and then I shot some single images. That's right, you heard it here, single images. I'm not trying to do anything complicated here tonight. This is stuff that all of us could do. Now, yeah, I'm using good equipment because I think that's really important, but the essence of shooting nightscape photography is just to, just to enjoy it out here. Have a look at that sky and just do your best to capture it the way that you see it here. And that's what I'm doing. I'm really enjoying myself out here. I know it's been a bit of a rush up and down this road, it's track out here, um, but it's a great spot. Oh man, I just love it. Just have a look at these images and if they come out the way that I envisage they should, I'm gonna be absolutely wrapped with them. Well, there we have it. My first Milky Way Galactic Core photo shoot for 2024. And I'll tell you what, I've enjoyed every single minute of it. And you know, I can still hear the ducks and the birds from that swamp down there. I don't think they ever sleep. But anyway, speaking of sleep, I need heaps of it right now. It's not far off uh, dawn approaching here. Uh, so I got to get home. It's about an hour's drive back home from here. So anyway, Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.